What's up, y'all? Yep. As the title states, here's the big reveal for the Urban Destruction car. By the time this video is released and y'all are viewing this, I should already be at the fairgrounds getting ready for my run. But, uh, yeah. A uh, few of you got pretty close on gassing. One of you got it pretty good. Pretty close anyway. And, yeah, a lot of good hints. A few that are way off. Or, uh, you know, a few guesses. But, enough rambling. Here it is. Yeah, a Chevy Lumina. Bubble body. Do a quick little walk around. This thing is a tank. Yeah. Shout out to Gitter Bent. Say so go follow them on their channel. They're pretty cool guys. Yep, there you go. Nice little walk around. And mini me. She's gonna be running. Yeah, ain't that right? I'm gonna go up there and tear some stuff up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, my camera is zoomed in, but yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's a uh, 2001 Chevy Lumina. Pretty decently built. Of course, you know, got the got the V treads on there with the the sidewall protectors. No. Nice new loaded bumper. Yeah, look at that nasty point. Yeah, that thing's on there solid too. Very nicely done. Got my angle iron on the hood, all thread, goes all the way through the core support and all, you know. Doors are all welded. Uh, six on, six off. And yes, I did measure them. They are to the rules, since we can't weld them solid anymore. Bolts over the fender wheels, hold that together, and bolt in the back of the door shut. Trunks welded solid and tucked and V'd in the back window bar. And of course the roof's been pushed up. Back bumper off of, I forgot what that, back, or that bumper there is off of. It's actually a front bumper to another W body car that was wrecked and I had no use for it so it seemed about right. And of course the rear frame rails are bent upwards to help that back end go up. Hopefully it packs in. And of course doors all welded and all the all. Uh the roof sign's not on. I forgot all about that. I don't have my roof sign on, but you know what that looks like. Come in here, you got the good old uh, homemade fuel cell with the Honda pump. Good old Honda power right there. Yeah, go around this side here. That Honda pump will power anything. Look at that. Yeah. Come in here, got my door padding. Oh, if you noticed, look at the cage. Everything but that top bar right there is all three by three square tube. There's about uh, 200 pounds or better of cage in this car. Yeah. And yes, I'm still running EFI. I've had no problems out EFI, but we'll see how this car does. You got the brain box mounted right there. My switches, which are all blurry. The gauges don't stay in here. They actually come out. I've just got those set in here so I can keep an eye on the engine. You know, like my uh, my temperature to make sure the car doesn't overheat uh, for testing, which it doesn't. Runs nice and cold. And also for check engine light so I can check for codes. Also run my dual battery setup. So, shouldn't be a problem battery power. And of course, column shift. I have a floor shifter, but I don't have a bracket to mount to the tranny. For some reason, I I uh, forgot to grab that. 
And don't mind the seat, it's covered up because of rain, just in case, because I don't like wet seats. I really don't like wet seats. Yeah. Yeah, just let it calm shift, because it's easy to shift. Ain't no big deal. So, yeah. Got the main power, push button starter, and that's for the fan. Get the pump kick. Fire dried up. Of course, it's got a rev limiter stock. The stock rev limiter is like 3,500 or something like that. When it's moving, there's no rev limiter. Typical GM junk. Hey, yeah, everything under the hood's all, all the wine's been tucked away and whatnot. Everything's protected. You know. Should do alright for an EFI car. If not, then I'll, if there's anything left, I'm gonna run it again. And if there's any problems with the EFI, I'll just switch to carbureted. It's not that big of a deal. There really isn't that much to these cars. Yeah. Well, there you go. The big reveal. Ready to go out there and smash some stuff. Going up against uh, 24 other of the best drivers around. And I am going to absolutely junk it. There's a couple out of state boys. We're gonna welcome to Indiana. The Mad Cowway. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it should do good. It should. Front end solid on it. Well, there you have it. Now you know. I will see you at Urban Destruction. Later.